in this presentation we discuss one aspect of the plasma fractionation industry. This industry is composed of companies which collect plasma which they then fractionate into important medicines. In the part of the industry known as the contract fractionation, this plasma is provided by an external player who then receives the products from the fractionation as a service from the fractionator for which they pay. A reduction in plant throughput is not beneficial for the economics of fractionation and increases costs. While the plant capacity versus utilization appears to indicate a surplus capacity, especially in the non-profit sector, we need to keep in mind that this may be deceptive as some level of capacity needs to be retained free for efficient manufacture. The profitability of fractionation is directly related to the number of products which can be extracted from each liter of plasma. We discuss the advantages of contract manufacture both for the vendor, i.e. the fractionator itself, or the client, which in most instances is a government agency or a blood service. There are several advantages which are discussed in our paper for both vendor and client. We draw the attention of the readers to the underestimated problems which exist in this activity. These are mostly related to the fact that most of contract fractionation plasma is derived from whole blood donations which are collected by blood services which have a poor understanding of the requirements of pharmaceutical manufacture. Many of these problems can be overcome by educating the client into these requirements and above all by extracting plasma by apheresis and thus detaching it from mainstream blood collection. We have discussed this problem in other works and would reiterate that since the supply of plasma coming from whole blood is going down, this is going to place pressures on the possible supply of plasma products from contract manufacture. The decrease in supply is shown through the drop in red cell usage in many of the developed transfusion and health economies, as shown on this slide for the Netherlands and Australia. The situation is different for countries in emerging economies where the supply of blood is still not enough to attain sufficient levels of red cells for the population. The most successful blood service globally in terms of generating plasma for manufacture is the Australian Red Cross Blood Service which sends its plasma for contract fractionation to a company based in Australia. As can be shown on this slide, Australia collects a lot of plasma for fractionation, but a successful conversion from whole blood to apheresis plasma has ensured a continuous growth in supply in the face of the drop in blood collection. We conclude with these tentative reflections and hope that this has enhanced your interest in this paper and that you will read the rest of it. Thank you.